Lady Pamela Hicks may have been in Queen Elizabeth's shadow as her lady-in-waiting, but she has had a glittering life of her own as a royal relative. The 94-year-old has lived a full life of enormous privilege, as well as tragedy, including the assassination of her father, Lord Louis Mountbatten. Before Elizabeth became queen, she used to share intimate moments with her. Lady Pamela has become Queen Victoria's oldest living descendant. Her whirlwind life began in 1929 when she was born. Pamela was born at the Ritz Hotel in Barcelona five weeks early. Her father, Lord Mountbatten, was Prince Philip's uncle, the younger brother of his mother, Princess Alice of Battenberg, and Pamela became his first cousin. She was the youngest of two children, with her older sister, Patricia Natchbull, assuming the title of second Countess Mountbatten of Burma later in life. Pamela and Patricia spent much of their childhood with the Queen and Princess Margaret, the Queen's sisters. Pamela went to boarding school in Sussex, but after the fall of France in 1940, it was deemed safer for her and her sister to relocate to the United States, where they stayed with leading socialite Mrs. Grace Vanderbilt. After serving as a naval commander during the war, her father was appointed as India's last viceroy in 1947, overseeing Britain leaving India before acting as the country's first governor general until June 1948. Pamela moved to India with her parents at the age of 17 and lived the glamorous life of a viceroy's daughter, going from the Viceroy's house in New Delhi to dinners, parties, and traveling across the country. The Viceroy at the time lived like a king. Pamela told the Telegraph that the extravagance of the mansion was alarming before the release of the film Viceroy's House, which stars Hugh Bonville as Pamela's father while he was disbanding British rule. There were 25 gardeners solely responsible for flower arrangements and one man who did nothing but prepare chickens. The house was so large that it took 10 minutes to get to dinner on time. It was rumored that Pamela's mother, Edwina, had an affair with India's Prime Minister at the time. In her book, Pamela stated that the couple loved and respected each other. Pamela was one of eight bridesmaids at Princess Elizabeth's, later Queen Elizabeth II, wedding to Prince Philip in 1947. She flew back from India for the occasion and witnessed a grand event from behind the scenes. Pamela was whisked off on the Commonwealth tour with Princess Elizabeth as one of her ladies-in-waiting after returning from India. While the two had grown up together as young girls, their roles were about to change. Pamela described how the Queen Mother made this clear to her when she called her over before their trip and reminded her not to call her friend Lilibet, but ma'am. During this trip, Elizabeth learned that her father, King George VI, had died and that she would take the throne at the age of 25. As a result, the party would have to return home earlier than planned. Pamela described the Queen's magical frame as she processed into Westminster Abbey in her Norman Hartnell gown, followed by six maids of honor, when she attended the coronation with her parents the following year. But when the queen's majestic robes were removed and she stood to be anointed in a simple white linen gown, she was moved by how her childhood friend. Pamela's role five months after the coronation was to remain as close to the queen as possible as her lady-in-waiting on a Commonwealth tour of the West Indies, Australasia, Asia, and Africa. Throughout their close relationship, she collected amusing stories about the queen. Even though they were very intimate, funny moments when they were not in public duty, you still get that sense from Pamela that she's not with a friend that she is with the queen. Pamela married interior decorator and designer David Hicks at Romsey Abbey in Hampshire on January 13, 1960, in an extravagant wedding. While the Queen attended her sister Patricia's wedding as a bridesmaid, she was unable to attend Pamela's wedding because she was heavily pregnant with Prince Andrew at the time. The Queen Mother, Prince Philip, Princess Margaret, and Prince Charles all attended, and Princess Anne, who was only nine years old at the time, was a bridesmaid. The couple had three children, Edwina, the Queen's goddaughter, Ashley, Prince Philip's godson, and India. King Charles's goddaughter. India followed in her mother's footsteps and was a royal bridesmaid at Charles and Diana's wedding in 1981. The queen was always ready to help her friend in difficult times, such as when Pamela's father was murdered by the IRA. Lord Mountbatten and some of his family took a boat trip in 1979 while staying at their holiday home, Classybawn Castle, near the village of Cliffany, County Sligo, in the Republic of Ireland. A planted bomb blew up the boat, instantly killing Lord Mountbatten, his grandson Nicholas Bradbourne, and family friend Paul Maxwell. Lady Brabourne, his son-in-law's mother, died the next day, and the others on board were seriously injured. Following the incident, the Queen dispatched her private helicopter to pick up the children. Pamela also expressed a lot about her admiration for the Queen before her death. Pamela and her daughter attended the Queen's funeral together last September, as India shared photos of herself and her mother dressed in mourning garb. Following the Queen's funeral last year, India stated that her mother hoped to be one of the few people to have attended three coronations by attending King Charles III's coronation. On her 94th birthday, she was informed that she had not received an invitation to the ceremony, which was to have a much smaller guest list than the Queen's in 1953. The King was sending his deepest love and apologies, as the reduced guest list had offended many family and friends. 
A palace official explained that his coronation would be very different from the Queen's in 1953, when thousands more people crammed into the abbey. The 8,000 guests would be reduced to 1,000, reducing the state's burden. India insisted Pamela was not offended because invitations were based on merit rather than aristocracy.